As I said in my speech, the United cooperation with the United Nations is uh, one of the pillars of our foreign policy. So we're committed to supporting the United Nations. Obviously, the, uh, you know, there are always situations where you have disagreements with other countries. But let me be very clear. For example, the, the UN, when we speak of the UN, uh, I'm speaking about the UN system, the UN where we work. But naturally, when the members of the UN uh, meet on various issues, there are, of course, differences. And that's where we have to work it out. Right. Now, uh, so obviously, the Philippines is still very committed to supporting the United Nations system, the Charter, etc. The Philippines is very much an active participant in the Human Rights Council. We have contributed very much to human rights. We are signatory to numerous UN, UN human rights uh, declarations and uh, also treaties. So I don't really see uh, see why uh, you would think that we wouldn't have cooperation, but we, we do have a lot of cooperation with the UN. But of course, naturally, uh, that, that resolution we feel was uh, unfounded and really unnecessary, but that's another issue. But aside from that, our relation with the United Nations has been very uh, productive in the years uh, ever since it was founded. We're a regional founding member. And we'll continue to cooperate with the UN. But remember, the UN is composed of 193 countries, mm -hmm. and we're all members of the United Nations, and we expect that our, our voices and our positions will be heard. We haven't hesitated to express uh, concern when we think that that has been justifiable. Uh, and you've heard that, I hope. But we're also looking at the constructive engagement. So what can we do to look at the underlying cause? I mean, the fact that drugs is a problem in society, how to prevent it and how to assist those who are suffering uh, from, from, from drugs, you know, in, in rehabilitation and in coming back to society drug-free. Can we ask on an update on the resolution that was adopted last July, the ICM-led uh, resolution? I don't really have any update to give. I mean, these were the peers mm -hmm. of uh, the Philippines who sit in the Human Rights Council. Mm -hmm. Uh, that came together around the resolution. Some a majority, well, some voted for and some abstained and some voted against it, but nevertheless, the uh, resolution was uh, adopted. Mm -hmm. And uh, the High Commissioner uh, for Human Rights has now been asked to uh, prepare a report mm -hmm. and come back to the Council uh, next year on that. So, so I presume that that's in, in process.